Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 8. And the problem says that the man having a weight of 200 pounds pushes horizontally on the crate. If the coefficient of static friction between the 450 pound crate and the floor is 0.3 and between his shoes and the floor is 0.6 determine if he can move the crate so now we are going to consider the free body diagram of the crate and we are going to consider the free body diagram of the man so we are assuming that the crate is on the verge of slipping let's assume that assume that the crate is just on the verge of slipping so if the crate is on the verge of slipping this surface can offer a maximum friction this of this surface will offer a maximum friction so let's say that f crate maximum that will be equal to mu s which is 0 0.3 times the normal force on the crate so now we have the p force of the main at this particular point let's say this is that p force and as a reaction if the main is applying this p force on the crate as a reaction this crate will apply the same force on his hand so we will have that p force on the hands of the main and the weight of the crate is going to act at its geometric center somewhere here and this weight is one uh, the the weight of the crate is 450 pounds this is 450 pounds and the friction force will act in this direction if the main is trying to move the crate towards the left so the friction force will try to uh, resist that motion so the friction force is going is going to act towards the right so this is that f c max according to our assumption and this is equal to 0 0.3 times and c and and c is the normal force on the crate so let's say that and c is let's say acting at let's say at some particular point that is away from that geometric center let's say that the geometric center this is the geometric center or the center of gravity of the crate so let's say that this and c is acting at some distance x this is let's say that uh, to avoid tipping if the main uh, moves the crate and if we are assuming that the crate is slipping then if it is if it is slipping then uh, we can say that the crate will not tip so if it is not tipping this and c must act at some distance x from this particular point in order to counteract the moment produced by this external force so this p force is going to produce the moment in the counterclockwise direction about this point g and this and c will try to produce the uh, clockwise moment so in order to uh, cancel out the moment produced by this force p this and c must act at some distance x from this geometric center or center of gravity so let's say that this distance is let's say this distance is x this is x so remember that this small this and c is at a distance of x if the crate is not tipping if it is slipping so now the weight of the main is going to act somewhere here let's say this is the weight of the main uh, this is the weight of the main and it's the weight of the main is 200 pounds and if he is uh, pushing the crate towards this direction so the surface will apply the friction force on his feet in the opposite direction so we will have the friction force on the feet of the main in this direction and the surface will offer the normal force on the main in the upward direction so this is an m so now if we are considering that the crate is on the verge of slipping then uh, both the main and the crate will be in equilibrium so if the main is in equilibrium we can apply this the equilibrium condition to both the main and the crate so now i'm going to consider the main 
So now if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero while considering the main, the summation of forces along y, this must be equals to zero. And uh, this is our positive x and y direction. In the upward direction, that is, this is our positive x, this is our positive y. So this is our positive y direction. So now as we can see that an m is acting in the positive y, so I will write an m. And the weight of the main is acting in the downward direction, that is in the negative y, so that is minus 200. This is equal to 0. So Nm, the normal force of the surface on the main feet is equal to 200 pounds. So now if the main is in equilibrium, we can say that the summation of forces along x, this must be equal to 0, but it, and towards the right is our positive x direction. But uh, this, the, the friction force will, will be acting towards the right since he is pushing the floor uh, in the backward direction in order to push that crate. So the surface will offer the friction towards the left. Mm -hmm. So the, kindly correct yourself, the friction force is acting in this direction. So this is the friction force on the main. So now the summation of forces along x, this must be equal to zero. So now as we can see that this P force is acting towards the right, so I will write plus P minus fm this is equal to zero and we can say that the friction force on the main is equal to minus p so minus will cancel out so now this fm will be equal to the applied force p which is required to be determined so once we find this p then the friction force on the main will be equal to that uh, force which he is applying on the crate so now to find this p we need to consider the crate for equilibrium so now we are going to consider the free body diagram of the crate and we are going to consider the equilibrium conditions that is the summation of forces along y that must be equal to zero and the upward direction is the positive y direction so now as we can see that this and c on the crate is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and c and the weight is acting in the downward direction that is minus 450 and this is equal to zero and from this we can say that and c is equal to 450 pounds similarly if i apply the summation of forces along x this must be equals to zero and this is our positive x direction so now as we can see that um, this fc max this is equal to uh, this is towards the right which is 0 0.3 times and c so i will write plus 0 0.3 times and c now and c is 450 and this P force is acting towards the negative x. So I will write minus P and this is equal to zero. And from this minus P is equal to minus 0 0.3 into 450 and minus will cancel out and P is equal to 0 0.3 times 450. This is 135, so 135 pounds. So if the crate is on the verge of slipping, the main is applying a force P or equal to 135 pounds so now if he is applying a force of 135 pounds then the friction at his feet is equal to p equal to 135 pounds now if our assumption is right so the maximum friction at the at the feet and the surface must be equal to uh, this point six times an m so we can say that the maximum friction at the main feet that the surface can offer is equal to mu s dash times an m and mu s dash is uh, 0 0.6 this is 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 times n m and m is 200 so 0 0.6 times 200 this is 120 120 pounds so the the maximum friction that the surface is offering to his feet is 120 pounds and while considering the equilibrium condition we got that the friction at the main feet is 135 pounds so this 135 pounds, this friction cannot be greater than the maximum friction, that is 120. So Fm, the friction value that we got from that assumption is 135. 
135 pounds which cannot be greater than that f max which the surface can offer but it is greater than f max so we can say that this is greater than f m max which is 120 pounds so the surface cannot offer uh, a friction value not greater than 120 pounds so the maximum friction that the surface can offer is 120 pound but from our assumption we got the friction at the main feet uh, 135 pound which is greater than 120 pounds so this means that for the main the assumption is not right the cre uh, the this means that the main is not in equilibrium so if the main is not in equilibrium so he is on the verge of slipping right so we can say that the main the assumption is not right the main is slipping right we can say that the main is slipping so if he is slipping then he will not be able to move the crate so as a, uh, the conclusion is that since we were asked to determine if he can move the crate so he cannot move the crate he is slipping uh, his feet is slipping right so he is not able to move the crate his p force equals to 135 pounds is not sufficient to move the crate so the conclusion is that he the man is not able to move the crate so this is the answer so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning like this video and share my channel with your friends and classmates in order to reach many more students like you people